crafty friends. Uh, Stacy here as always and I'm going to be doing a number of acrylic pour paint videos or acrylic fluid art. Some of them are not pours on two pieces of two canvases that I have. Both my canvases are long like this. I've taped off the bottom because I'm going to do three different kinds of pours on each one and I'm going to do three videos with two pours each so this will be a series type of thing. I am doing these to kind of match my living room which has a very colorful rug in it and I have picked out colors from the craft store that match the colors in the rug. Now the only color that's not in the rug is like a purple. There is even some hot pink in the rug, but I've got plenty of different colors and I would plan on doing a couple of different colors for each part of the canvas so that way every part of the canvas doesn't have to have every color that I picked out for the painting. Now I've only done the mixing video um, once and so that will be referenced up in the top corner whenever the mixing ratios come up so you can watch how I mix the paints without having to watch it on every single video. So this is part, whatever it says down there, of the three part series. And we will see what they look like when they're all said and done. You will obviously need your canvas, some tape. Masking tape works better than the painter's tape I learned after the first painting. You'll need a yardstick or a ruler of some sort in order to measure where each pour will go. So I cut off the plastic that comes with the canvas and then I tape it off so that the paint from each pour does not go onto the parts of the canvas that I do not want it to go on to. I learned that masking tape works better than painter's tape. And then you put push pins on the back so that the pour and the paint does not stick to the table with the canvas. So to make your colors, you will need the colors that you're wanting to use. These are the colors that I'm using today because of the rug that's in my living room has these colors in it. And then you'll need your mixing medium. I've already mixed this from a previous video and I will tag that video up in the top right corner of your screen. If you hit that little information button, it should have the video there. And just for an overview, if you don't want to watch that video, this is the recipe for the mixing medium and then the recipe for when you add it to the colors. The base color of all of these paintings will be black. So I just paint the entire canvas black before I do my pour in order to cover all of the corners and the edges. I'm not gonna mix a lot of colors for the reverse dip because I want the base color to be black and the main part of the canvas to be black. You can watch a more descriptive video of how I mix colors, as I said earlier, by hitting the information button at the top right corner of this video. Now I Dutch pour the colors on top of each other and then fill in the outside areas with the base color, which is black. 
I'll take a Q-tip and pull the paint outward so that it blends more. And then we have a plastic bag. This is not a really thin bag like a Walmart bag, but it's a little thicker, kind of like a tar Target bag. And um, we push the paint outwards and then you grab it from all corners and pull it upwards so that the last part touching the bag is the center of the canvas. Again, we have the mixing ratios for your paint here, and you can find that video up in the top right corner. And I mix six different colors for this one. This one's a lot of fun to do and very easy to do. And I always, almost always, mix white to contrast with the black base. And I add a silicone oil, which I get from the craft store, to every color, but not the black base. Now we're gonna paint the entire canvas black and to make sure to cover all the corners and it's gonna be our base. Then we Dutch pour the colors in kind of random order, just whatever you think looks good. Then I get a straw and I blow through the straw to make it marbleize and the colors mix together, but we don't wanna cover the black completely because that's gonna be our base color. Those little cells that show up are a result of using the silicone oil. Isn't that so pretty? As you can see throughout those videos, I actually used masking tape instead of the painter's tape to block off sections of the canvas so that the paint would not go onto those sections. This worked a lot better than painter's tape. Actually, I found that painter's tape is pretty horrible um, for paint. So masking tape instead of painter's tape. Uh, a few of those you might have seen me use a silicone oil. Um, a couple of drops of the silicone is what gives you those cells that look like, um, well, scientific cells. They look like cells. Um, to give you more of the blending, more of the splotchiness look to it. Some of them I did not use the silicone on. Um, so just note whenever I'm mixing the colors, if I hold up the silicone, then you know that those that that painting has the silicone in it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch the other two parts of this three part series and those will be linked below if they are already been posted to YouTube. Um, otherwise, it will probably be posted within the next couple of weeks. So just keep an eye out for that and I will see you next time. Be sure to go follow Stacy Noel CP on Instagram in order to see pictures of the final product. Thanks. Bye.